How's it going, everybody? I'm Slava Natorski. Welcome to the channel. And we're going in for some more Joy Toy goodness today, as you can see over here. So we got in some more of the Cult of San Reja from Joy Toy. This is Mara, one of the newer figures. And uh, I also have the mech that they just have dropped, so that'll be in the next video. But let's go ahead and open it up. Take a look. If you want to see more stuff like this, subscribe to the channel. And comment away what your favorite Cult of San Reja figure has been so far. Because honestly, I kind of like them all. And of course, be careful that you don't do what I just did and launch everything out of the box. I'm very, very good at doing that. But take a look at the box real quick just to get a good look at it. Not too much with this figure. It's also pretty affordable. You get a snack pack. Uh, let's go ahead and just dump out everything since I already did. All right, so you get the figure, which uh, these smaller female figures are usually pretty tough to stand up. If they can get her to stand. Put all your stuff up there. Oh, come on. Your holster on. There we go. All right, let me go ahead and lower this a little and move this a little. There we go. She is on the camera. So you get her, which uh, not a bad figure. You get a, looks like I'm Uzi, to go with her. You get two other hands. So these are grippy hands. These ones both are left and right for like holding a dagger, I'd imagine hands. And right now she has a relaxed hand on the left and a trigger hand on the right. So let's go ahead and take a close look at her. I love the gas mask on these figures. A lot of them wear them. And it looks great. I think all of them actually wear a gas mask of some sort. So it's really cool looking. She's got a holster, good belt, decent sculpt, some nice details. But not a bad figure. I like the jacket too. Uh, the jacket, it looks like it might come off. Yeah, I think the jacket does come off. It's just on the really tight. But I kind of like the look with the jacket on. Looks more like a biker. Or like a wastelander, which is kind of what we're going for here. Uh, so let's take a look at the movement and articulation. The head will go all the way around, uh, back and forth, side to side, all that good stuff. The scarf is a separate piece, so you pop the head off, the scarf will come off. The arms do go all the way around. Uh, they're a little tight at first, like always. I love the shoulder pads, too. It looks great. Then you do have, there is no bicep swivel on these that I can see. Yep, no bicep swivel. But you do get a single jointed elbow. And you get, looks like a nice wrist joint there. Goes up and down. And you can rotate it around however you need. Same on the left hand. That one goes, how does that one bend? Yep, it looks like up and down as well. For the torso, it looks like it is all one piece, is it? Yeah, I think the torso is... Well, no, it's two pieces. But I don't think that it bends too much. So if you'll see here, like the torso itself, you can get some good side to side. Get some decent back and forth. A little bit of rotation in there. And uh, I'm popping off the holster now. I'm good at always knocking these things down and taking them apart. Uh, the legs, you do get some amazing articulation on the legs. You get almost a full split. Uh, I'm going to move these holsters up. You do have a thigh swivel there. You can actually see the seam. So the thigh does come out. Uh, it will go just about all the way forward. It does not go that far back because they sculpted her butt, and it kind of gets in the way of that. Let's get that up. I love the accessories on these little Joy Toy figures, but the only problem I have with them is I kind of wish these were, like, glued on or part of the sculpt. I mean, I get that you can take it off. It's good for customizers, but they just keep falling off for me, and I'd rather they just stay on. Uh, you do get a double-jointed knee, so it goes up pretty far back. Uh, it looks like... Is there... I don't think there's any rotation in the boot. No. Uh, but you do get back and forth on the foot here. You can go 
little bit back and forth like that. And there is a peg hole in the bottom. So very, very good. Uh, let's go to the holster now. Put that back in there and it just pops right in. There we go. Popped in pretty easy. So the dagger that she gets. Pretty nice little dagger. Goes right into the holster. Does it fit? Yeah, fits pretty nicely. Uh, can I go in any further? I think that's just about it. So that goes into the holster nicely. And then, of course, she's got a nice spot to put her Uzi. Which I actually do like how that fits in there. Although it's a little tight on the trigger. I will give it that. Let's see if I can get that in there. I don't think it's going to go around it. I think it goes in the trigger. Or it's supposed to anyways, but... Uh, a pretty tight fit. Maybe you gonna know, hook it in or something. It's always when I start messing with them like this that I tend to break something. So this is I'm a little bit nervous about it. Come on, get in there. Alright, if you can't get that to work. And I know you could probably push it through with a very small pair of tweezers. Um, that's probably one way to do it, but that is kind of tough. So let me see if I can get that in here. So I bought these. If you guys don't have a pair of these, these are great when working with figures. They're plastic. So there's less chance of damaging the figures. They come with a bunch of different tweezers. Like these ones have a rounded off end instead of super pointy. So in a situation like this, I don't want to actually break anything. So I can just push that through, theoretically. See if it wants to go through. And just make sure there's room in there. Go on, get your butt in there. There must be just a little bit too much plastic in there for it to get through. <laughs> Which I can make her hold it just as well, but I want the holster to work. Now, well, I'm going to end up breaking this, I'm pretty sure. You do get this every now and then. And then with Joy Toy, where things are just a little bit off. And you can't quite get them to fit. It really doesn't want to go in there, does it? So I'm guessing it's probably, there's a little bit of extra plastic on the bottom of it. I'm going to try to lightly shave that off and see if that helps. I'll be right back. Alright, so I did get it. Uh, what I ended up doing is exactly what I said I did, is I shaved a little bit of plastic off the top and the bottom. And then, you see where I kind of shaved a little bit? You can just take a Sharpie, color that in if you want to do it real quick. And make the black or make it look like the black uh, paint is back. And I just used the box cutter, not this special. But yeah, so great looking figure. I got that holstered. I like the Uzi being holstered on the hip. Looks great. Um, I do like these kind of holsters better than the others because it holds them much better. Uh, they do have one for like the cowboy holsters, for example, here which it just, it holds the pistols really, really well. So this is the other figure that came out and it was kind of like a dual, not a dual pack, but they both had the same release date. So they both kind of had a very similar coming out party. <laughs> so that gives you an idea of the two of them. I, I like the theme in all of them. They're kind of, some are Western, some are Wasteland. I mean, they could all be technically Wasteland. And here's another one of them. One of the guys on his motorbike but uh i really do like the cold of san Rey. 
they have great figures and uh, they honestly look great i love the wasteland kind of gives you fallout vibes or mad max vibes uh, everything about them is awesome um, so i'm really looking forward to see if they keep doing it i know they have a wastelander pack that they put up for pre-order i'm considering getting that mainly because how can you not buy a corgi with a gas mask that's just awesome <laughs> But uh, that's everything I have in these figures. So you see, it looks great. Compares well to the others. Fits very well. If you wanted them to go against Space Marines, you get an idea of what that's going to look like. Uh, they scale pretty well, I'd say, with the Space Marines. So no complaints on that. But uh, yeah, great figure. Um, doesn't come with too many accessories. But all the accessories look great on her if she stands up. Uh, all the time with the little cowboy boots. They're harder to stand because there's less area them to stand or less uh, tread or I should say space on the feet. The feet are smaller is what I'm getting at. Uh, so yeah that's what's going on there. But uh, awesome figure, a great addition to the line I think and very very affordable. But uh, that's it for now. What's your guys favorite San Rejo figure? Do you have a favorite one? Do you like a certain one of the vehicles? I do love the motorbikes and the bicycles everything that they come out with. Looks like a bunch of hot rods, Harleys, things like that. Cool stuff. I can't wait to see what else they do with it. I also uh, thought I'd just bring out the ATV in the background just for the heck of it. So you can kind of see what's going on there. The ATV looks cool. But it's a little too high tech for these. So um, it kind of fits, but it seems like it'd be a, a faction going after them. Looks like. But uh, anyways, I'm stalling. So I will go ahead and let you guys go. Like the video if you thought it was useful. Subscribe if you want to see more. Tell me. I want to know what y'all's favorite San Reja, um figure is that they've released so far and uh, I don't know I've looked it up I don't know if it's an anime if it's a toy line or something before if it's something very unique to the joy toy that they were made before I want to know more about it because I really do like the cult of center it looks great but that's it uh, keep pushing forward guys don't give up don't let anyone get you down if someone kind of pulls you back push them away and step forward all right you guys got this just like everyone else you got to hold yourself accountable that's the hardest part but if you can master that you're good to go Take it easy, guys, and I'll see you again in the next video. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. I hope you enjoyed it and look forward to any future content I have coming. As usual, a like is always super appreciated. Subscribe to the channel to see more videos like this. Share this video with any of your friends or groups that you think may enjoy it. And let's talk down in the comments section. I always enjoy hearing from you. If you would like to interact more with the channel, you can find me at my socials on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. I post any contest entries and reference codes for contests that I enter on Twitter, so that's another reason to check it out. I also have a TikTok account I created where I upload tease videos for upcoming YouTube videos as well as shorts. I am also getting back into gaming content on the Xbox Series X, and I'm looking to start doing streams again on Twitch, which I'll upload to YouTube later. Thanks again for stopping by, and I hope to see you again next time.